everybody, Pastor Teresa here. I wonder how you're doing today. You know, it's, it's hard because I just talked to this camera and you guys can see me, but I can't see you. So would you do me a favor? If you can, or if you're with mom or dad or grandma and grandpa, would you put your name in the comments and leave me a little message about how you're feeling today? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you frustrated? Do you just miss your friends? Tell me in the comments today. I would love to hear from you. You know, I thought today that we would talk a little bit about prayer. Because I think sometimes when we're going through weird situations like we all are right now, that, that prayer is a good way to sort of help us, oh, just stay, stay focused on what's important to, to help us have a better attitude um, and to help us get through this weird time. Now you may think, well, I don't know how to pray, Pastor Teresa. Uh, I hear the pastors on Sunday at church pray and they use all these big fancy words and I just don't know those big fancy prayers. Can I tell you a secret? You don't need the big fancy words. It's okay. You can just tell God what's in your heart. You can tell God about your day, uh, about the good stuff, about the bad stuff. You can tell him if you're sad or angry or frustrated. Um, God can take it. You can say anything at all to God. Um, God just wants you to talk to him. But you know what? God also wants you to listen. And so it's important as we pray to just stop for a moment and try to clear our heads, to try to quiet our, our thoughts down a little bit and just say, God, I'm listening. Show me what you need me to know. And you know, when I do that, sometimes what I feel is just a, you know, that little voice in the back of your head that kind of says, you know what you should do? You should, you should do this. You should call your friend. You should, oh, you should clean your room. You should put your shoes away. Um, you know, that just that little voice of that, you know, you should do this. I think that's God talking to us sometimes. You know how sometimes in the movies, there's this big booming voice coming out of the sky and that's God's voice talking to people. I know some people have that experience of God, but that's just not how God has spoken to me. And that's okay. We don't all need the big booming voice. As long as we listen to that quiet little voice, that's what's important. But I know that sometimes we don't know what to pray. Um, we kind of get stuck. We don't know what to say. We aren't even really sure how we're feeling to tell God. And that's where um, prayers, like one that you may have heard at church, the Lord's Prayer, uh, come in handy. Now, back in Jesus' time, his disciples, his, his best friends, the guys who traveled around with him, they came to Jesus one day and they said, you know, Jesus, would you t teach us how to pray? And so he taught them the Lord's Prayer that we say in church. And so we're going to go through that today just a little bit because I think it's a good prayer to memorize um, so that on those days when we're stuck, we can pray that prayer. Um, but I know there's some words in there that you guys may not know or understand. So we're going to kind of break it down and talk about it a little bit. Jesus says that when we pray, we should say, Our Father, who art in heaven, who art in in heaven, what in the world does that mean, right? It just means that we're praying to God who is in heaven. Art is just kind of like the word are, A-R-E-R. -E -R. Our Father who are in heaven, but are sounds weird there, right? It's is. We pray to God who is in heaven. And the next line says, hallowed be thy name. Now, this is not talking about Halloween, okay? Hallowed just means special or holy. So we're praying to God who is in heaven and he's pretty awesome, he's pretty special, he's pretty holy, okay? Then we say, thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Now, thy just means yours, okay? Your kingdom come, your will be done. So who's got, whose kingdom, whose will? Well, that's God's, right? We're just saying we want things done here on earth the way God has things done in heaven because we know God's way is the perfect way. Then we say, give us this day our daily bread. Just means give us what we need. Not just bread, although I'm pretty sure I could live on bread. But just give us those things that we need to make it through the day. Just the basic necessities. We can handle the rest on our own, God. Just help us make sure we've got those basic things. Food, water, shelter, air. Okay? Then it says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now, I get it. Trespass is a weird word. All it means is forgive us for all the mistakes we make, just as we forgive people who make mistakes and hurt us. But guess what? That means we have to forgive those other people. If we're saying forgive us just like we forgive other people, well, if we don't forgive, then we're saying God doesn't have to forgive us. So forgive us just like we forgive other people. Okay? And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Just means help me avoid all of the bad stuff. Just help me stay away from any of that so that I can stay closer to you, God. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Now, thine just means yours. So yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory. God, everything belongs to you. And you're awesome and we should worship you. That's all that part is saying. Amen. Amen. Now I know that's a churchy word again. It just means so be it or let it be. Or I agree with that. Okay. So we're just saying God who is in heaven, you are awesome and holy. Okay, we want things done on earth the way you would have them done up in heaven. Give us just the basic necessities. We'll take care of the rest. Forgive us all of our mistakes, and we're going to try really hard to forgive the mistakes of others. Help us stay away from all of the bad stuff because everything belongs to you. All good things come from God. Let that be. Let it be. So the Lord's Prayer is a really great one to pray if you're stuck. But remember, you don't have to pray those big fancy words. Just talk to God. God wants to hear from you. Just like Grandma loves it, if you pick up the phone and call Grandma, God loves it when you bow your head and pray. So, guys, would you pray with me today? Would you fold your hands? and bow your heads and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for always being there. Thank you for listening. Thank you for helping. And help me to hear you. Thank you most of all for sending us Jesus. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again on Thursday. Take care, everybody. Remember, drop your name and how you're feeling in the comments. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.